Holy smokes! Pokemon just put up a whole bunch of Pokeballs on their website. When you order six, they give you the cool stand you can put together. You know, you have the back piece and then there's a side piece. And then you also get tens that are H20. Guys, this is PA Pokemon Pools here. We're going to pop these open, trying to see what's inside of them. I have a pretty good idea of what's inside, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Uh, I actually ordered these yesterday from Pokemon Center's website, and they showed up today. So, apparently I live close to Pokemon Center. <laughs> uh, but it was literally this morning they showed up. Uh, now, these tins are pretty reasonable. They're twelve ninety nine, right? Now, I don't know if the other type of balls have certain stuff in it. Um, this one here... Doesn't actually list the name of it itself. Um, I think, and I'm not 100%. Might actually have Cosmic Eclipse in there. And if it has Cosmic Eclipse, that means it's followed up with two other packs. Which, unfortunately, I believe are... Well, you know what? Why don't we just crack them open? We'll find out. See what's inside of them. I got six of them. So, we're going to try to make this video uh, pretty informatory. Because, here's the thing. If they do have Cosmic Eclipse, get on the website now. Order these. I can tell you that, because finding a pack of Cosmic Eclipse out in the wild, you're probably looking at about $20 to $27 for a pack. Um, and these are only $12.99 for one of these with three packs in it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get these open. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the stand. We'll get these all out of here. Sorry if I just put my hand in front of the camera like a noob. <clears throat> All right, let's toss that big old stand. That stand's actually pretty cool. I think I'll put uh, put the mixture of the other ones in there. So we'll get these all moved up here, and then we will crack them open. I picked up six of these guys. Kind of almost wish that I grabbed more, honestly, to tell you the truth. But, but um, here's the hard part. Getting the stupid plastic off here that never comes off correctly. So if you're bored on the video... Uh, this will probably put you to sleep by now. What I plan on doing is uh, just kind of cracking them all open. Dear Lord. If you've ever opened one of these before, you can feel my pain on here. Well, let's find out first. You want to do that? Let's do that. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got <laughs> a piece of paper. It's nice. Quality control. We got Rebel Clash. Barf. There she is. One pack of Cosmic Eclipse. And then one underwhelming Vivid Voltage. So, um, now if we get the Pikachu out of that, that's not very underwhelming. But that's literally the only good card. The only good card into that. So, I'm going to toss these all off to the side. Try to get these open as fast as possible. <clears throat> Now, there are other um, different type of Pokeballs on the website, too, that I haven't tried yet. Um, depending on the turnout of this, I honestly might just end up ordering more of these. Because, like I said, Cosmic is a pretty solid set. I haven't opened very much of it at all. Boy, these are these are beat, these are beat up in there. Oh, yeah, you do get a coin, too. Little, it's like a Suicune coin, honestly. Add that to the coin collection. I have so many of these tins that I don't even know what to do with them. I don't even know what to do with them. I got a whole floor full. It looks like I got one, two, three, four, five. I got another six on the floor down here. I probably just need to throw them away. Unless anybody out there wants them, I will gladly give you the tins. Otherwise, they're going to go in the garbage. They really need to rethink the packaging for these things. I don't know if they need to make them bigger. I know they definitely need to change up the stupid plastic on here. It's got to be probably the worst thing to open. Although, collection boxes are kind of annoying to open also. See, look at that. So look at that. Just look at it. It only halfway comes off. 
terrible. This is a, a knife, but it just screams. I'm going to end up in the hospital because I stabbed myself opening a Pokeball. That's not something that you want to explain to, to the doctors, that's for sure. Yeah, I tell you what, I probably will, I probably will give these away. So I definitely like, comment, subscribe, and I'll go through and do a random comment generator and see if I can uh, just give these away to people. Once I pick, I'll let you know, and then we will get your address. I'll ship one of these off to you. Oh, slippery little sucker. See, that's why you don't use a knife <laughs> when you're doing these at all. Once I get all these done, I'm going to do a little camera adjustment here, and then we'll get them all, get them all cracked open. Um, we'll start with underwhelming, unfortunately, first. And then move on to second underwhelming, and then make the grand finale our cosmic. Holy guacamole. All right, pretty good amount of packs. So we got... Pick balls, that's 18 packs. And we'll go ahead and get these all sorted out. And I tell you what, I'm going to do a little readjusting of the camera. Let's zoom out a little bit here. And get these all put together. Cosmic, cosmic, vivid, vivid. Rebel. I don't really even know what the pools are out of Rebel Clash because... It seemed like a pretty underwhelming set, so I kind of strayed away from it. I think I got a pack here or there once in a while, but... All right, we got six of each. All right, so we're going to start with Rebel Trash, as they call it. Like I said, not too familiar with what's going to be in here. Looking on my, my TCG app, it showed that they're... <laughs> Really wasn't much, I can tell you that right now. So I got you guys a code card. There you go, and I'll give you all the code cards for these. <clears throat> even the Cosmic, even the Cosmic. All right, let's see what we got inside Rebel Trash. Look at that Metapod. It's pretty cool. That's the, uh, the crocheted one. There's Dan, pretty normal looking fella. Litwick. Shinks. You know what? For these ones, I'm just going to kind of burn through. We're not, I'm sure you guys don't want to look at Rebel Clash. Why don't we just go ahead and skip to the good parts. <clears throat> but yeah, I saw that. I saw this pop up yesterday, and, I, I, and I've always, always thought I wanted to try getting these Pokeballs and see if there's anything good in them. And apparently there are. So I remember when the Arceus collection came out that had one Cosmic Eclipse in it. Everybody went bonkers. Everybody went bonkers over it. And that was a $24 box. Now don't get me wrong. It had a really nice promo in it. But if you know Pokemon and their promos, you're aware that... <laughs> literally, it's a, that's a blank code card again. Um... Promo cards really aren't that hot, you know. They're not in the not in the best condition. All right, Trubbish and oh jeez, oh man, Rebel Clash. I wonder if I'll get at least one hit out of it. Uh, but where was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, back to the uh, Cosmic Eclipse. So you got one Cosmic Eclipse and a couple other other packs out of there. I believe Evolving Skies was one of them out of that Arceus box. That Arceus box was selling for twenty four ninety nine. Oh, here we go. We got a good code card. So let's see what kind of. Garbage we get out of this. And people were going crazy over it. Yep, Galarian Wheezing. Yep, the moment you've all been waiting for. Uh, do they, they don't have a, um, yeah, they don't have a trainer gallery on that. All that hype for that. Insane, insane. But I believe I pulled uh, Charizard Braxton, uh, Braxian out of that pack that I got from that. And I thought it was a great card. <laughs> Another garbage one. And then I looked at the price. It was only like an eight dollar card, but I really like it. So I actually uh, I'm thinking about sending that one off just to get graded, just for my personal collection. There, nothing at all. Oh my goodness, Rebel Clash! <clears throat> you 
You know what? Give me all the bad luck on this. I will take all the bad luck in the world on Rebel Clash. Probably Vivid Voltage, too. And then I want to see it. See it shine on Cosmic. A shiny eclipse. Yep, literally. Not one hit. I mean, if you count that Galarian Wheezing a hit. <clears throat> okay. Hatchery. That one's not moving. Literally nothing. All right. What does that teach you, kid? Do not buy Rebel Clash. Maybe if it goes down to $30 for a booster box, maybe. That'd be worth your time. <clears throat> However, I use the TCG Collector app on my uh, on my phone. Oh, there's your code card, and that's a Vivid Voltage. And it tells me the value of each set, like uh, how much each card is going with, based off of TCG Player. <clears throat> uh, Rebel Clash is very low. Uh, a lot of them are, you're looking over eh, probably 800 to 1,000 normally, you know, depending on the set itself. Of course, Evolving Skies is going to be through the roof. Um, however, another, another base code card. There you go. Where were they? Oh, yeah. However, the um, little sleepy Snorlax and nothing. Rebel Clash is around three or four hundred dollars and that's for the entire set the entire set so really if anybody got into the hobby around rebel clash i feel like they would just get right out of the hobby nothing see another blank uh another, another regular code card uh now rebel clash could have or i'm sorry vivid voltage could have a amazing rare in the reverse slot which i already have all those and unfortunately they're not really very valuable uh pokemon tried that out on or tried these out on i want to say it was vivid voltage and shining fates i believe or yeah i think it was shining face and uh people were going crazy over them until they realized how easy it was to pull the hits or pull those amazing rare cards like I said, I have a set of the Amazing Rare cards, which, don't get me wrong, they're they're okay. They're very nice-looking cards, but everybody and their brother has them. So, really not valued that much. And I feel like a lot of people tend to want to get graded, so... But I think I was looking online, like, you could buy the Amazing Rare cards graded as 10s for, I want to say, pretty close to just the price of grading, honestly, to tell you the truth, so... Which is, uh, I believe at the time, was about 25 or $35. So if you do want them in a slab, I mean, they're definitely not bad-looking cards. Hopefully I can pull one to, to show you guys. And I do have a, I have a binder that has them in there. So I'll have, if I can hunt that down, I'll show you all. Alright, here we go. Last pack of Vivid Voltage. Very um, underwhelming, actually. Uh, I got I got zero hits. Okay, so we got got ourselves a white toad card. So let's see if that comes up with anything. Now, if it comes up with a Pikachu, then guess what? I just paid for. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Shaman. Well, I see why Pokemon was getting rid of these. <clears throat> of course, they had to put them in with something, with something something a little desirable, you know. Actually, so all right, on to the main attraction. So uh, first two sets. Pretty much complete garbage. Ooh, look at that. That puppy just rips right open. Oh, see, I do like that Pikachu card, too. Look. Would you look at that? Look how angry he is. Angry or in the middle of a fight. One of the two. But I really like that card. I think that's probably one of the cooler-looking cards. All right, we got ourselves a backwards code card. Not sure what that means. However, we'll find out here in a second, I suppose. So, yeah, let's do the card trick with these, actually, because it is the main event and all. Let's see if I did it right. Oh, we did. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves an old, older school energy, a really awesome Jolteon card, Tangoro, Rapidash. There's our friend Pikachu, Stuffle, Pontiard, 
Oh, I see something shiny. Let Leo. Coughing. All right, our reverse is Pignet and Booyah, Vol Corona GX. I'll take it. That is our first hit, actually. So, beggars cannot be choosers on this here. So, hey, one for one though. Not a bad, uh, not a bad start. I'll take a GX card. Again, not 100% sure the value of a GX card. See, these all kind of open, open very strange. All right, next one up. So, looking at our nose pass right out of the gate. There's your code card. So, let's go ahead and dump that because I don't want to ruin the surprise. Let's take four to the front. All right, give me something good. I need some team up cards. Team up cards are what we're looking for. And then, uh, full art trainer, uh, uh, Rosa, I believe, is the most expensive in the, in the pack. Or in the set itself, actually. Teddy Osa. All right, we got Rufflet. And Steelix. That is a nice looking Steelix, though. I do like that hollow better than the, the line hollow. So, you know what? We're going to count that. We're going to count that as a hit. That's what we're going to do. Dang nabbit. All right, moving on to our Piplup and Blastoise pack. Man, I really like Cosmic. Uh, to buy a booster box of Cosmic Eclipse right now, I believe, is somewhere in the, quote me if I'm wrong, $500 range itself. So getting these at this price was a heck of a, heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. Definitely wasn't upset about that. <clears throat> oh, didn't do the card trick. Let's do some card trick in action. Oh, one more to the front. Here we go. All right, guys. Let's see what we can get out of this here. Tag call. Chaotic Swell. I'm going to move these a little closer for you so you can see. Of course, this is going to do the non-focus dance. Tangela. Duskull. All right. Trapinch. Trapinch. And non-hollow. Embor. All right. Now, what are we on here? Oh, down to three more. So, let's see if we can make this a fun hit. Uh, I think all we get are for all six of these. I think with shipping was around the eighty dollar mark, I believe. Oh, there's your code. So so far it's um not paying off. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. All right, let's see what we got here. So going out with our steel. That's tight. Tag call. Stuffle. All right, Lit Leo, Coughing, Nose Pass, Reverses Sneasel, and again, Non Hollow. All right, guys, two more. Two more, and then uh, that should conclude the video. I do appreciate everybody watching today. If you could like and subscribe, and also comment and let me know what do you think? Should, uh, are these something you want to order? Just to get a chance to open Cosmic Eclipse. I think it's worth it. It's fun. And if you get something even better, that makes it even funner. Funnerest. All right, there's the old fairy energy. Ends resolve. A while. Oh, nice Flareon. Rallet. Lillipup. Screlp. Angry old Pikachu. Stuffle again. The baby, and there we go. We got another GX card, the Alolan Persian. So GX number two. All right, last pack, last pack magic. Let's see if uh, this was worth it or not. I really hope you guys enjoy this here, and I hope this helps you determine whether. You want to grab a couple of these Pokeballs or not. I definitely recommend buying six to get that cool stand with it, though. So, I definitely can't complain about that. That was really neat. Didn't think they'd actually give me an actual display stand. There's our Jolteon. Ends Resolve again. Mawile. Magmite. Lillipup. Trapinch. 
Sneasels Feel. I haven't had this feel yet. Marshadow with a Pikachu right next to him. And our final. Oh, Zatu. That's our that's our final card. So I hey, got a couple GXs out of it. I don't own too many GX, so I'll definitely put that in a collection. And then we'll count that Steelix also. So um honestly, three hits out of uh that many packs is tough. Especially after opening Crown Zenith. But hey, I'll take my Volcarona and my Persian and run with it. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. This is PA Pokemon Pools. And have yourself a great afternoon.